Hey gang, this is Bresh, man. I'm over here at a place I've never been to before. You probably have. It's called Chick-fil-A. I just saw a big piece on how it's the biggest and the best uh, thing as far as uh, franchises and all that go. So I came over to this one here in Old Hickory, Tennessee. So far, not impressed. Just trying to get ordered. I don't know how to explain it. They were all bunched up on one side and uh, I got behind somebody. I came in with them and we got on dual side and all of them went about eight cars. Now they say I follow this white car. So we'll see what happens there. <laughs> I should point one thing out. Um, one of the things they say that their employees smile 90 point something percent of the time. And uh, I have to admit the guy that takes your order out here in line was, uh, he, just, he never quit smiling, <laughs> even though I was pitching a bitch about a few things. And he said, oh, I'm sorry, sir, but uh, for our foul up today, smiled away. So he was pleasant. And it's happy hour, so I got a free uh, Diet Dr. Pepper to go along with it. So we'll see what happens here. I'm supposed to follow this white car, and there's a guy right behind the white car that really wants to be up his butt, and he wants to get there next, which will throw off the deal. So we'll see. By the way, they are still lining up and coming in in a two-line thing. And they're closed on Sunday, because that's religious they're very christian oriented here and popeyes has been coming up their butt with a popeye chicken sandwich and they're open on sunday so they totally sold out nationwide last sunday because you can't get a chick-fil-a on sunday Here comes a girl. Let's see if she smiles as she gives me my order. Hi. You're smiling. They said that. I've never had one of these before. There you go. Thank you. My pleasure. Have a good one. Thank you. Thank you. More customers coming into Chick-fil-A. All right, gang. I just got back here to my studio. My Chick-fil-A is in here, and I'm going to see what the hubbub's all about. Um, let's see if Mr. Kathy is right about his mom's recipe. Cooks it in peanut butter oil, then they put some pickles on it. I chose some uh, honey mustard sauce. I'll probably put some Best Foods mayonnaise on it, or what do they call it here? Hellman's mayo on it, and see... See what the big deal's about. I should start a chain called uh, My Mom's Chicken. Her fried chicken, she uh, cooked in bacon grease that she would save from the bacon. She always saved the grease. And I'll tell you, that was some ass-kicking chicken. Well, we'll see what this is. I have no preconceived uh, notion about this, so I'll report back. Johnny Cash is waiting to see he always gets a little taste, so we'll see if he approves also. Of course, just between you and me, Johnny Cash will eat damn near anything. <laughs> All right, let's check it out. Here it is. See the pickle in there? Let me see. Crunchy. I don't know. I mean, it doesn't suck. <laughs> I don't know. I haven't been there before because I have so many friends that are uh, LGB, uh, GTO compliant. Gay friends all my life. Men and women both. They boycotted it, so I have boycotted it as well. But I don't know. It's good. I really can't tell you what the hubbub is about, but it's 
It's tasty. I'll report once I'm finished with it and have belched and everything else, okay? <laughs> My final swallow, wait a minute. I don't know if I'll get craving it again or not. I mean, it was good, it was crunchy, the pickles were good. And I was there at Happy Hour and they gave me this giant Diet Dr. Pepper. The whole bill, tax license, everything, $3.99, so it's not overpriced. <clears throat> so I don't know. All my gay friends out there, please forgive me. But when you're getting ready to take over in placement, Starbucks and McDonald's, it's worth, I gotta go test it out. I'm back here being the Bible belt that this is in, Baptist community, maybe uh, that has something to do with their popularity, the fact that they're closed on Sunday. No exceptions. All the employees know they have Sundays off. And you know that if you want a chicken sandwich, you have to go to Popeye's and get their chicken sandwich on Sunday. So, I don't know. It wasn't bad. I'm glad I went down there and tried it. I don't know if I'm going to crave it like I do an In-N-Out burger. <laughs> oh, excuse me. Well, that does work. The Germans will be happy to hear that. I'm going to edit this and get it posted. I'm the brush man. That's all I got. BD TV.